correct. Good job. Correct. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Something new to explore. At high altitudes where the atmospheric temperature is low, icing can start to form on the non-rotating engine parts. They're commonly formed on the nose cone, nose cowl, intake struts and inlet guide veins. Once icing has formed, they may break away from the surfaces and cause foreign object damage or FOD to the engine blades. You did it! Anti-icing system is meant to prevent the formation of icing. Hot air anti-icing is very common for most engines as it uses the compressor bleed air in the system. The inlet guide vanes can be heated to prevent the formation of ice. The inlet guide vanes and the intake struts are usually hollow. Hot high pressure compressor air is bled from the rear of the engine compressor and is ducted through an anti-icing control valve to the hollow sections of the inlet guide vanes and intake struts. The heat prevents the adhesion of ice. You did it! Another type of anti-icing that can be found on engines is known as hot oil anti-icing. This is simply taking the hot oil from the engine supplied by the oil tank and routed to heat up both the hollow intake struts and the nose cone housing. You are good at this! Another type of anti-icing that can be found on engines is also known as electrical anti-icing. It may consist of a flexible electrically conductive graphite foil that can be attached on the nose cowl and also the wing's leading edge. The heater keeps the surface warm and prevents ice from forming. Good job!